I'm Senior Team 10 Investigator Jim Avila. In my first investigation, we exposed the dangers of candy-like marijuana to young children. Now I'm following up on marijuana that is not like what it used to be. Legal retailers are making power pack versions of THC oils, gummies, and even sodas that doctors say are highly addictive and causing actual brain damage in teenagers and young adults, like this young man who asked us not to use his name. I stay anywhere I want to. Some nights I even don't sleep. This is life as it has become for this young man, now in his early 20s, after an adolescence clouded by what his parents say was potent marijuana smoke and vape fumes, a dangerous combination nationally known medical experts are calling industrial strength marijuana. At one point, it was daytime, nighttime, nonstop. And I'll never forget the day, sort of a mid-December, uh, he came into my office at work, and he was literally a zombie. He, he looked like a zombie. It's okay. Okay, so girl. Gone are the carefree days of life in San Diego, playing in the surf. A pilot's license at 16, an A student accepted at a prestigious East Coast University, the firstborn big brother to two siblings. Very sort of profound in, you know, his thoughts. Had good friends, uh, played, you know, sports growing up, learned French at home, spoke two languages. Hmm. Uh, so just a very bright kid. He was just a perfect child. He was happy. The change came quickly, they say, vaping THC oils that marijuana researchers say are many times stronger than the street corner weed of past generations. Teenagers' brains are not fully developed. The average human brain isn't fully developed or mature till your mid to late 20s. And that is why we see teenagers who use marijuana go on to have higher incidences of mental health disorders. There's a higher likelihood that you could develop schizophrenia, bipolar, or other mood disorders. Chris and Patricia say marijuana is to blame for their boy's psychosis. To see him literally turned into a, a zombie, more or less, unable to look you in the eye, unable to speak clearly, um, no emotion, uh, no light in his eyes. That really got our attention, more or less out in the street, naked sometimes, um, breaking windshields, just crazy stuff, having to call the police many times. Dr. Renit Lev is an emergency room physician at Scripps Mercy Hospital in San Diego, and she sees marijuana psychosis patients come to the ER daily, teens and young adults whose parents just didn't know that marijuana in today's strengths should be considered hard drugs. And that was the saddest thing. These are parents whose children became psychotic or died cannabis-associated psychosis and suicide, and it's heart-wrenching because they had no idea, and they wish someone told them. Samuel is a sweet child. He was graduation from high school. Adriana Ching's son, Samuel, is in the depth of psychosis today, hospitalized again over the holidays, lost of the days of the soccer-playing, self-taught pianist who brought her such joy. I never thought marijuana was that lethal or that dangerous. So you weren't afraid of it at the time? I was not. It was sort of the, the natural drug, right? right. I mean, it, it, how could it hurt us? It was the soft drug. Samuel's mom says his high school marijuana habit exploded during his first week of college. When she got a call from the hospital, Samuel was admitted for psychosis. And when I first saw him, he was, I could not recognize him. He did not make sense. Everything he said was very, exaggerated and he just did not know who he was. He thought he was a Hollywood rock star that was being held hostage. So it was painful for you? It was very painful. It was probably one of the scariest times in my life. They're making it into oils that can be really concentrated. University of California San Diego pharmacy professor Nathan Painter has studied today's commercial marijuana. It's not just the plant that people smoke anymore. I mean, even the, the marijuana that you would smoke is 10 to 20 times stronger than what it was back in the 70s. And some of the oils are 50 to 100 times as potent. 50 times stronger. That seems like something you'd have to be very careful with. It certainly lead to some pretty dramatic consequences. We're seeing parents who describe their, their teenage children as totally different. Totally different. They've become yes. different people. They've lost their children. Marijuana does. It creates, it, it changes your brain. Had we known that this wasn't just regular weed anymore, I would have 
had a, a sign in the house like no no weed here you know it would have been clear their son is in treatment but his parents are not optimistic and are here to speak out not just for him but for the long line of parents with no idea that today's legal cannabis is so powerful he may never become who he was and who he wants to be like no one wants to get back to the way he was more than our son. We have sort of already lost our son, and he's alive. It was the last time he got some sleep. Actually, earlier today, in jail, in Mexico. Promising lives diminished, taken by the new generation of marijuana that doctors say is not just a weed anymore. Doctors studying the effects of marijuana on the brain say the legal highs found at local dispensaries need regulation, not the anything goes, no limits on the industrial strength weed being sold today. And they advise teenagers to avoid it altogether. With photographer Ray Higgins, I'm Jim Avila, Team 10.